listen close to this video. Listen real close. Amy Belt tells me that she threatens a judge. She tells me that some people done her wrong and she got them. Listen to this. The only reason I recorded them is because she is violent. When I come into her house, she was made to take me, pretty much. There was an audio video camera in her living room. Not going out the window at the time, it was on me. Okay, they have, they told me I better not audio them. Well, they were audio video videoing me. It's my expert anti-bully opinion that Amy Belt and Scott Belt are bullies. Scott is full-blooded. Full-blooded. Listen close. These are real audios. Scott even tells you about Warrior Co. I worked there once. I liked it there. But they like to play with you. Listen. You better not drip water on Amy's floor. Not even by accident. Listen. She's flushing the toilet. short uh, bit, short audio when I was talking to a young man I told him not to go to the doctor she said don't tell people that listen she said don't do that well why can't I warn people well right She threatened a judge in a courtroom, and she didn't go to jail. Imagine that. Yeah, I was in a big hurry to get out of there. and snow. I couldn't dig it up till it thawed out. Listen. Uh, 
Now, I went, uh huh, because of Scott Belt. I hate the N word. I hate that word. I was called that when I was a child. I didn't know what it meant, but I knew people laughed at me and pointed at me. I was called that because I had a dark complexion. I was the darkest person that lived in the projects in 1960 and 70. I hate the N word. Business. Now, if Amy Bell puts a bullet in your head, she would probably get away with it. After all, she got away with threatening a judge in the courtroom. She's got domestic violence with her first husband, Alexis Paul Skinner. How did she come to own weapons? Because she used to be a deputy jailer. That's how. Well, the strangers have helped me more than she has. That's a shame. But God bless her for what she has done. This, this, this is an experience I had at Warrior Co. I was security there, I think it was 2005, and um, had, a, had an incident where the power went out, and they told me that if I didn't get the power up, everybody was going to die. I was terrified. I like my job, but I quit. Listen, this is Scott Belt telling me what happens. Right. Right. And they 
Okay. See our readings went up. God did. I expected a little compassion, a little love. I really did. Now, when I went into their 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 house, they took me in. She gave me one for. Ain't nobody gonna believe anything you say, and I better not end up on YouTube, and I ain't benefiting from this, and all kinds of stuff. The reason I expected a little compassion and understanding is because she was my daughter was my daughter. Saw the camera audio video on me and well, I gotta protect myself because she's violent. Of course, devils, demons, antichrists are just crazy people. They try to flip the script to make you look bad. Well, here's the truth. I hope she changes. hope she gets away from him. I don't think she will. I don't want to ever see her again or him either. I don't hate them, and I forgive them. But God don't like ugly. He really don't. Here's more. She's trying to make me sound crazy. I know her thoughts, or God told me her thoughts. So what? Why would she have an audio-video camera in her house when I was visiting there? Oh, they finally turned it off when they couldn't get nothing on me. And that's just the truth. Listen on. I'm plugging on drugs. That's my spiritual device. No, I don't want them to lose everything they have. God's in control of that. They don't appreciate what they've got. They're prideful. They don't know that they have to help others. Now, go to the next video. There's more.